Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We just thank God on this morning. Hallelujah, how God good is. And we are just so excited to see what God is speaking on this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I will turn it over to Pastor Fox. There you go, Pastor Fox. Amen. Good morning, everyone on the line. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hallelujah. Uh, good morning, Sister Sarah. Girl, I've been hearing you. Uh, when I can hear you, uh, you're doing an awesome job. Awesome job. Let the Lord continue to use you and lead you. Amen. Amen. On this uh, new assignment that he have uh, placed uh, you on. Amen. On this morning. God is good. Uh, we'll be dealing with day uh, 287. Different gifts. Mm -hmm. Differing gifts. Amen. Dealing with the gifts. Dealing with gifts. So we're going to mm -hmm. open up. Uh, in prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you glory. Heavenly Father, we give you praise. We love wow. you this morning. We love you on this morning. We love you, oh God. Lord. We love you. If you don't do nothing else, Lord, we yet still love you. We thank you for those that are on this line on this morning as we get ready to tap and to touch concerning differing of gifts uh, in the body of Christ. God, we give you glory because everyone on this line have at least one gift. And Lord God, and we will use it for the kingdom of God. We will use it for the kingdom purposes. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, you will. Amen. amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Apostle and Apostle Johnny Gaines, we thank God for them. Amen as well. Scripture says in Romans 12 and 6, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether the prophecy let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Romans 12 and 6. Uh -huh. And the writer says, the word of God speaks about differing gifts according to the grace given to us the word for gift in the greek in the greek is charisma which means grace or gift denoting extra extra extraordinary powers distinguishing certain believers and enabling them to serve in the kingdom of god it also means the divine grace operating in the souls by the Holy Spirit. Let me just read that again. Yeah. Divine grace operating in their souls by the Holy Spirit. The gifts to operate and to function in the kingdom of God char characterize the basic motivations and inherent power in a citizen the powers in a citizen the powers in a citizen by reason of the creator's unique workmanship in their lives different kinds of grace with different forms of expression are given to different individuals and they are to be cherished and use accordingly. In the original Greek, the word for gift is derogative of that for grace. It is to be observed that the apostle here assumes that every citizen of the kingdom of God possesses in some form that grace which gives graces. It has never designed, it was never rather designed that all Christians should be equal. God designated that people should have different empowerments. God exercised authority and bestowed his favor as he pleased. Use what the Father has given 
and grace you to do. Amen. We're going to go ahead and hand it over, amen, to uh, Lady Fox. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Fox. I'm so excited about, about we're talking about the different gifts. Hallelujah. And I know we was given Romans 12 and 6, but I would like to read from verse 3. And it says, For I say through the grace given unto me to every man is among you. Check this out, y'all. That's why, oh my God. Not to think of him more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, meaning don't be so high-minded. Hallelujah, hallelujah. According as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Verse 4 goes on to say, For as we have many members in one body, all members have not the same office. And when we say we, it's talking about us, us, the body of Christ. For as we have many members, all of us, hallelujah, in one body, and all members have not the same office, hallelujah. Five goes on to say, so we being many are one body of Christ and every one members one of another. And then Pastor Fox just read, you know, verse six, having then gifts difference according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, prophesy, let us prophesy, prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Hallelujah, meaning measure of faith. So, Pastor Fox, I just want to go back to verse 3, okay? Mm -hmm. When what caught me about um, verse 3, when it said not to think of him more highly than he ought to think, to think soberly. And I just want to start right there. You know, like you said earlier, Pastor Fox, each one of us, have a gift. Mm -hmm. Each God give each everyone is have a gift, or some have more than one gift. Right. Hallelujah! And what I what, what what I think this is this is stand down thinking. When God give whatever your gift is, Hallelujah, Hallelujah! I always tell Holy Spirit, guide and lead me, because sometimes you know when you are operating in a gift. And you know you got that gift, hallelujah. Sometimes an individual could be operating not like Holy Spirit will guide them. Do you understand what I'm saying, Pastor uh -huh. Fox? And I will always just say, let Holy Spirit continue to be control of your gift. And you don't try to take control of the gift because then sometimes you can operate it out of, you know, the Spirit of God operate yeah you know, sometimes we can operate out of our flesh exactly instead of operating like you said in the gift of god exactly the grace, the the grace God. of god that yeah. allow us to mm -hmm. flow yes allow us to flow uh in that gift i like it what you was uh saying you have given everyone at least um uh, one gift and, and and see and this is what have happened to the church at large in the church is us uh this will have happened to so many gifted individuals and the mm -hmm. sad thing about it lady fox is it's not our gift amen it was given, given to us he gave us these gifts to edify the church to edify one another to help build the kingdom of god what you read in three do not think yourself more highly mm -hmm. than you should. Mm -hmm. Okay? Why did the Apostle Paul say this? Uh -huh. Because guess what? Thank he you. knows mm -hmm. that this gift can put you in a high place. He knows that the gift mm -hmm. that God, the power of God, 
the mm-hmm. operation of these gifts mm-hmm. can place us in places we ourselves can't go, but the gift of God in us will place us in places and in regions that our flesh can't take us. Mm-hmm. And he mm-hmm. says, guess what? You got to watch yourself mm-hmm. because you got to be prayerful. You got to mm-hmm. be humble because even the humble. apostle Paul he said, listen, I don't know nothing. I consider myself as nothing, as gifted as he is, as gifted as he was, how he operated. He had to check himself because guess what? Who don't want a pat on the back? Who don't want to say, man, God use you? Come on, let's be real. We want to be recognized. Mm. The challenge is when we are being recognized, when we are being used by God, the challenge for many of us is to give God the glory. It's because we will start out in giving God the glory. But between here and there, in the middle, in the power, in the (laughs) operation, some Uh reason for so many people, so many men and women of God, we lose it and we start getting high. And so when we start getting high on, watch this, even in the street, those that was in the street, they said, never get high on your own product. Mm. Okay. And so we're getting high on somebody. We're trying to get high on what God has given us. No, we don't get high on what God give us. We humble ourselves what God give us. And so what happens, mm. we take what God has given us, many of us, we take what God has given us and we start operating on how we want to operate. It's not ours. Mm-hmm. But the Apostle Paul reminds us, do not think yourself more highly because highly thinking, highly thought are going to come. I don't care who you are. And so when wow. that highly thought come in your head, as soon as you start saying, I Mm-hmm. Boy, look how, ooh, ooh, man, didn't I prophesy? Didn't I lay hands? Didn't I serve? Didn't I operate? Okay, that is a check right there. Yeah. You need to go back and do your first work. You need to go back and say, listen, oh, no, Lord, I repent. It's not me. I can't do this without you. Amen, glory. glory. And you know what, Pastor Fox, that's so powerful that you said, because when we talk about guilt, I say, okay, Lady Fox, I know everybody know what the meaning of gift is, but I just got to just, you know, I'm just going to remind us. Hallelujah. A thing given. Listen to this, Pastor Fox. Uh-huh. You're going to love this one. Yeah. Uh-huh. A thing given willingly to someone without a payment. Uh-huh. Without a payment. So you telling so, me, <laughs> so you telling me you don't deserve it. Come on, God. Okay. Come on, God. Okay. When, when, when this, that's why I say we can't, Whatever your gift is, God gave us that gift. We didn't have to pay for that gift. We, oh my God, Pastor Fox, this just led to me. Okay, y'all help me out. God gave us different gifts. Okay, can somebody help me and ask me, Pastor Fox, why are we charging for something that was given to us for free? Mm, 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 mm. My, my, my. And that's what's happening, you know, in the body of Christ. When God has given us, okay, if you are a prophet, right? Mm -hmm. You're a prophet. Uh And you know God has given you that office. Mm -hmm. You're a prophet, Mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So if God has given you that willingly, I mean, you didn't have to go to God and say, hey, let's exchange this. Mm -hmm. And you know I want to pay for this. No, we didn't have to do that there. God knows what's within us. He knows the grace that each one of us has. Right. And to, I would say, use his gift to make yourself more, meaning now you have a whole line talking about, okay, you got a $50 line, you got a $20 line, you got all these lines now on Mm -hmm. the gift that God has given you. Mm -hmm. God has given us those gifts, whatever your gift may be, Mm -hmm. for free. Mm -hmm. So we have been so highly because now our name became great because you know how to prophesy a door number. You know how to prophesy, you know, um, 
what, 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 uh, you, you really understand when you prophesied, people telling you your birthday, people telling you, you know, oh, you got three kids or whatever. Now that individual got, God has given the grace to that person that they have that gift in operation. Now, guess what? Now I'm going to make some money off this gift right here. Mm -hmm. uh, right. No, we don't do that. Right. So I feel that right there's something has went wrong with the church. Mm -hmm. Something has went wrong with the church. If you agree. Yeah. Yeah. The flesh, the flesh have gotten there. Greed, greed. Mm -hmm. uh, people forget where they come from. People forget who gifts it belongs to. And we understand when we operate, we understand uh, uh, when scripture deals with uh, double honor. You know, when you bring a gift, it's weighty. You know, we mm -hmm. understand that. Now, yeah, it's worth double honor. That don't mean you charge double to the people for what God has given unto you. Mm -hmm. You know, and so so uh, we have those individuals and God will deal with them accordingly. Uh, unless they repent and get it right, God will deal with them uh, uh, accordingly. Amen. Praise God. That was That was really good. What you say, God will deal with them accordingly. Okay, we're talking about different gifts, Pastor Fox, and you and you and I are leaders. Okay, and I know the gift that you know. One of my gifts, Pastor Fox, is serving. Mm -hmm. And when, when I mean, my God, that when when you have a gift and God has given you that gift, you'll find yourself like an operation. If you're around a, a, another um, conference, I mean, you you go into another conference or you're doing something else, you will find yourself operating in your gift without even knowing that you're operating in your gift. For example, if I'm somewhere and I see that they need help or whatever, I'm not just going to operate in my gift because I have my, the gift is in me just to go start. No. I would quickly go and say, hello, blah, blah, blah. can I help do this? Can, you know, can I help serve? Because that's who I am. I am a server. I love to serve. And, you know, and another gift, Pastor Fox, mm -hmm. is the love that I have, mm -hmm. you know, that that's towards others. Mm -hmm. So I would give, I'm um, quickly to encourage, I'm quickly to th do things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we, we in, the body of Christ together, but both of our gifts are different. Correct. So with both of us, we mm -hmm. add, we, <laughs> we, we are adding exactly. to the kingdom. Exactly. Um, uh, it's amazing that you said that. Uh, I know we have to move on, but one thing that's very vital that the body of Christ mm -hmm. works together. Mm -hmm. Husband and wife work together. Mm -hmm. I have been in this thing for a little while now, and it's it saddens me, uh, mainly when I see husbands and wives fighting against each other because one operating this gift and another one operating that gift. One thing I can say that God has graced me with, have blessed me with, is a a a not only a uh beautiful wife but a gifted wife a gifted wife a gifted wife and mm -hmm. we work together and so we add we add we add we add to the table so uh there's gifts of healing there's gifts of prophecy uh you know, the love, the, the, just the hospitality mm -hmm. that my wife operates with. And then the gifts that I operate with. So if she got three gifts, I have three gifts. Okay. With us together is six gifts operating. We can do more together. Okay. With each of our gifts in operation. We empower each other. We we sharpen each other gifts that we can operate correctly in the kingdom mm -hmm. of God. 
Now, if we fight each other, we're subtracting those gifts from the kingdom. We are subtracting those gifts from the neighborhood. We are subtracting those gifts from the church. What do you mean? Because of that gift, if I'm fighting my wife and causing that gift not to operate, it's a subtraction somewhere in the kingdom. There's a subtraction because that gift is there, but it's not operating. Mm. What's the sense of having a vehicle just to say, I have a vehicle, but mm -hmm. you don't turn it on, okay? There's different mechanics to have that vehicle to operate oh to get to the destiny. There's wheels, there's engines, there's an engine, okay? There's a gas thing, there's carburetors, there's a transmission. All of those plays a role to get that vehicle to the destination. And because my wife and I, we are married, we are one. Every aspect, every gift, I feel glory right here. Every aspect, every gift, it helps us maneuver and operate together, okay, where we can go ahead and do kingdom assignment, kingdom work. Guess what? And so guess what? Because instead of two set of eyes, there are four set of eyes. Mm -hmm. She can sharpen me. I can sharpen her together. And so uh, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of passionate about this. Is because I'm like, Lord, we don't have to fight. Married couples don't have to fight. The kingdom of God don't have to fight. Let's add. Let's multiply. Hallelujah. That the souls can be saved mm -hmm. people can be healed people can be delivered demons can be cast out mm -hmm. hallelujah we can possess the land the enemy says so many times he don't even have to function Come because on. the the church is fighting against each other he said i don't even have to touch that part because they're fighting you know when the enemy comes in or try to come in or try to form weapons is when the kingdom is in operation and in unity. And well, that's powerful, Pastor Fox. So I'd like to say this here too. Um, we're Pitch talking about out. the church and the church is us as an individual. The gifts that God give us, it could be me. I'm just going to say me and Sister Liz. We could have the same gift. The same. A lot of us on this line have the same gifts. Guess what? We're, we operate differently. We operate differently. The way you God give you, gave you your gift and you operating through Holy Spirit in that gift. I have the same gift, but I probably operate differently. Correct. Don't mean that I'm not no better than you, the bigger O I I I I I. So that's why I don't understand why um the 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 competition that is going on in the body of Christ. I don't have to compete against nobody because the gift that God gave Shandon, I'm going to use that gift as how Holy Spirit uh, operates in me. I'm not going to be jealous of nobody else's gift. I'm not going to be jealous of nobody else's gift because how God operates in Shandon, that's how he operates in me. Mm -hmm. So a lot of yeah. times people, you have a gift, hallelujah. Do not let your gift, Pastor Fox, may I say, lay dormant in what I mean by that death, because you see somebody else operating differently. You feel like now the gift that God gave you, you can't operate in that gift. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Now, when it comes down to gifts, we have all gifts, different gifts, same gift, everything. You know what? With your gift, sometimes uh, what tries to come and snatch the gift from us, Doubt. God has given you that gift, but now here's doubt rising up. You have that gift, now here's fear rising up. You have a gift, now unbelief is rising up. Guess what, Pastor Foxy? I can say that because transparent, that was me at one point in time, mm -hmm. you know. But the more I got in my word, hallelujah, the more I dig in my word, hallelujah, God began to speak to me personally about my gifts. And because Holy Spirit spoke to me, guess what? I operate in what God given me. So all I'm saying on this morning, don't let fear snatch the gift that God has given you. Hallelujah.
Amen. 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 God is awesome. 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 I know the time is already running away from us. It's already almost uh, 30, 630. But um, dealing with, uh, you, you, you want to continue to read down, Lady Fox? Um, yes. Verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 5 goes on to say, so we being many are one body of Christ. Uh -huh. And every one member, one of another, Pastor Fox, mm -hmm. hallelujah. That's verse 5. Mm -hmm. And you already read verse 6. Correct. Uh, it says we are joined mm -hmm. to each other mm -hmm. as different parts to one uh, body. We are joined. We are, we are, we are joined just like the body, the bone structure, the hip mm -hmm. bone and everything. We are joining each other that we can move. We're mm -hmm. joining. That means if one, I, uh, I believe this uh, Pastor Rose, she said quite a bit. When one part hurt, we should all hurt. Mm -hmm. When one rejoice, we should all rejoice. Mm -hmm. Okay. We should feel when something is missing. We should feel when something is not together. We, mm -hmm. we, we should be able to feel each other, not rejoice when someone is not in operation, not get jealous of someone when someone is in operation. Okay. Hallelujah. So, so, so we don't, we don't, we don't operate like that. So the apostle Paul lets us know we have to um stay uh humble. He lets us know we have to stay humble. Mm -hmm. uh, 12 and 6 lets us know. Uh, we have the gifts according to grace. Mm -hmm. We have the gift of, of, of prophecy. And not necessarily the gift of prophesying the future. But in 1 Corinthians 14, it is dealing with the powerful and the inspired preaching of the word of God. We have mm -hmm. the, uh, we have the right gift down. according to the portion of faith. We have it according to the portion of our faith. This is what six is talking about. Mm -hmm. um, um, you, I love it because his gift is tied to his grace. Watch this. His gift. The Say Apostle Paul is letting us know that his gift, our gift, the gift things that we have is tied to, watch this, is tied to his grace. Come on. Not our goodness. Oh my God! It's tied to His grace, okay. not our goodness. Not our goodness, our goodness ain't, a, ain't 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 bring on this gift. It is the grace of God, His grace. Oh and God. so, guess what? Um, um, with these gifts, this is why He talks about the grace. He said, "I'm giving you grace." We don't talk about these gifts like this, but these gifts also has suffering tied to them. Mm. Because when you start operating, when you start operating good, in yeah. these gifts, when you start, uh, God is allowing you to win souls. When you start casting out demons and you start uh, winning souls for the laws and you start going through these different things, the apostle Paul went through, he says, these gifts that I'm giving to you of mm. grace, you're going to have grace to go through whatever that comes along, watch this, with mm -hmm. this gift. Whatever may come along with this gift. Because everybody want these gifts, uh, want to operate in these gifts, and it's the, the, the outward, what it looks on the outward, mm -hmm. on the outside, how it looks, on the pool, how it big. looks. Mm -hmm. But when you operate and when you function in these gifts, uh, whether it's the five-fold ministry, whether it's the spirit of servanthood, hallelujah, of helps, love, uh, charity. You start operating, whatever gift it may be, um, uh, declaring, preaching the word of God, the wind souls, your witness of the gift of faith. When you operate in these different things, guess what? The enemy is there to try to bring suffering and bring attack. But Apostle Paul, he lets us know, listen, it is the grace of God that allow me to continue to operate. Lord, um, yes, Lord. Um, some of us, we stop operating mm -hmm. because of the suffering. We stop operating because of the pain. 
we stop operating. My God. That was really good. Um, my God. Um, I love it because on Romans 12 and 6, we just read it. Um, consider this, if you will, saints on this line. Mm -hmm. That the gift of prophecy, which is the preached word of God mm -hmm. and faith, must have a close relationship. Who we'll say that again? The gift of prophecy and faith. Mm -hmm. not I'm not talking about the prophecy of prophesying the gifts. I'm not talking about the office of the prophet. I'm talking about the prophecy of the word of God being preached and declared. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about the gift of faith must have a close relationship. The gift of prophecy and faith almost have to have a marriage ceremony. Jesus. That allows every other gift to flow and to operate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, so let's go back to six. Having the gifts different according to the grace that is given to us. That's given to us. Let us use them in prophecy. Mm -hmm. Okay. According, according to the, to the proportion mm -hmm. of our faith. According to the proportion mm -hmm. of our faith okay mm -hmm. prophecy thank you thank you prophecy let us prophesy in the proportion of our faith as we preach as we declare hallelujah as we prophesy according to the proportion of our faith one scripture um lets us know uh romans 12 and 3 that he give every man a measure mm -hmm of faith yes several scriptures lets us know even with this prophecy even with this faith mm -hmm. matthew 9 29 says then he touched their eyes saying the blind he said according to your faith be it unto like you to be it faith. unto you with all of these gifts the true flow of every gift on the inside of you so it can flow. It must be the word of God and faith. faith you yeah. cannot come to Jesus unless you have faith and you believe that he is uh, He is the son of God and you must have some measure of faith. Mm -hmm. And then we can activate and we can operate and we can move on because you with any other gift, the word of God must be tied to it. Oh, and yeah. faith has to be tied to any other gift. If you're going to serve, you got to have the word and faith. Because what comes along with serving the fivefold ministry, operating, hallelujah, in those gifts, you must have the word of God and you must have faith to operate. Oh, Ooh. glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did Jesus, Lady Fox, anything? Amen. Amen. No, not actually. I just like what you said um, about like the 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 word of God and faith is like a mar marriage ceremony. And, you know, and the natural uh, marriage ceremony is very, very, very important, you know. Um, and I would just say, you know, anything we do here in life, everything we do, we have to have the word of God connected to everything, to everything, because the word of God will show you and keep you in right standards, mm -hmm. keep you in right standards. Yes. When it yes. comes down to operating whatever gift that you have, it's the word of God will keep you humble. It's the word of God will help you operate in a, in, in a pride spirit. It's the word of God going to bring corrections to everything that we do so we cannot subtract from the word of God mm -hmm. and continue to operate no we have to operate mm -hmm. with the word of God and faith being connected to everything we do it's not us us of ourselves that's it that's it our gift, our operation is to speak God's message. Mm -hmm. 
It is to speak God's message, to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ according to the faith that we have. The Apostle Paul had many gifts, but he always wrote letters. He always wrote letters, okay, to encourage, okay, to to strengthen. Uh, They called him a false apostle. He was telling them about false apostles, and they turned around saying that the Apostle Paul was a false apostle. Why? Because they didn't like, because he's the message of the gospel, the message of Jesus Christ, okay? The, the church, how they should operate. He's, he's giving, he's delivering that message. He's writing letters, even in prison, he's writing letters. And guess what? Because he's operating, and no matter how gifted he was, he always attached the word of God. The problem on today, the problem many times is we prophesy and we try to operate without the message of Jesus Christ. Every mm-hmm. gift, hear me, hear me, those that have gifts, those that will learn their gifts, I don't care how you operate. I don't care how God use you. Every gift of God always line up with Jesus Christ. Every mm-hmm. gift points you to the direction of Jesus Christ. Even in the Old Testament, it points you to Jesus Christ. If your gift do not point to Jesus Christ, my question is, what do you have? And what are you operating in? Mm. If that gift point to you, there's a problem. If that gift is pointing to finances, okay, to, 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 to allow mammon, to control you, you got a problem. Every gift of God. Listen, Jesus Christ, many times you've seen the multitude came, but after those gifts was in operation, a lot of times it pointed, how can I be saved? When those gifts are operated in the world, in the school, Okay, when the gift of love is operating, okay, when signs and wonders are operating, when demons are being cast out, are operating. Listen, one one of the disciples, the disciples said, listen, we cast out demons. What did Jesus say? He said, wait a minute, hold on, take a step back. Don't celebrate because of that. Celebrate because your name is written in the book of the Lamb's book of life. Yes, it points to Jesus. Let's not forget because so many times the gifts that I'm seeing on social media, a lot, not all of them, because we got great men and women of God who have not lost a foundation. Mm-hmm. But many times these gifts that has been perverted are pointing to men and women. Jesus cannot be seen in none of those gifts because the gift has been perverted. Now, I know many of you may say, oh, my gift would never be perverted. If your gift don't point to Jesus, if your operation don't point to Jesus, don't point to the word of God, don't point to kingdom, yes, it can be perverted. Because that's what the enemy does. The enemy don't give you gifts. God has already placed gifts on the inside of us. The enemy comes to pervert the gift. He perverts the gift. Remember, he was thrown down. He was cast down. Okay? So, So he perverts it. He perverts what God has placed on the inside of us. Huh? Glory, Lady Fox. And before we open up the line, Pastor Fox, that was so good. Um, I was just, when you said about the gift can be perverted, some over here like, oh my God, like the gift can be perverted. Yes, and no, it just dropped on me when you said that it be, it it can be perverted when we start I, I, Correct. I, I, yes, I. Yes, yes. Because now Jesus is out the equation. It's I, 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 I. So the enemy said, oh, I got him. 
the operating through pride. So now he began to use individuals. And a lot of times, that's why I would say all the time, people, honestly, Pastor Fox, the best prophecy is the word of God. Exactly. The best prophecy, the word of God. Guess what? You don't even when sometimes you're going through with afflictions or whatever, you don't need no prophecy to come a prophet to come tell you, oh, you will be healed. You know, I'm gonna look at oh the, the one with this your blood, she was healed. Uh -huh. A lot of times when we read the word of God, hallelujah, hallelujah, a measure of your faith. Do y'all believe reading the word of God can heal you? The word of God does. The, 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 I'm just telling people of God. Yes. Yes, I know that. But do you really believe the word of God? will heal you do you really believe when you read the word of god the word of god is prophesied into your situation mm -hmm. so yeah. that's all i have to say on this morning pastor fox i thank god and hallelujah jesus and 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 she gives <laughs> uh and i don't want to take away from what god has given Amen. men and women so when the gift of knowledge is in knowledge is in operation, someone calling out your name and calling out your address. Come on. Um, people have used that to manipulate people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But honestly, the word of God, it is a gift. The word of knowledge, it is a gift of God. Uh -huh. The enemy used that gift as well. He yeah. perverts that gift as well. But when men and women begin to use that guilt it is to awaken you many times is to let you know hey god is directly speaking to you uh -huh. it is uh -huh. the, you're getting ready to have a divine impartation uh -huh. there's about to be a divine word a tailor-made word for you and so when you see these gifts in operation of the word of knowledge um jesus comes it should point to jesus some type of deliverance should take place some type of repentance should take place some type of revival should take place some type of miracle should take place to point to jesus and not to that man and not to that uh a uh, uh, woman you know and so uh, we're getting ready. Hey, glory, hallelujah. We're getting ready to open up uh, the line. We're getting ready to open up the line. And, and, and so there's a differing of gifts, so many gifts. But the Apostle Paul, once again, reminds us. He reminds us in uh, verse 6. He reminds us. He reminds us in verse 6. So we are to use our different gifts in according with the grace that God has given us. If our gift is to speak God's message, we should do it according to the faith that uh, we have. And I, and I, and I want to read this that's in the... Um, book on this morning in our kingdom 365 our daily devotion he says um in the second paragraph mm -hmm. he says inheritance power inherit power in a citizen by reason of the creator mm, unique creator. workmanship in their lives we are citizens we are citizens and when we are citizens we know the laws of the land we understand we operate as kingdom citizens we operate as kingdom citizens and so what we have what god has placed us with what he placed on the inside of us mm -hmm. He lets us know it's according to the proportion of the faith. Everyone is not on the same level. 
And because we're not on the same level, we are still citizens Amen. in the same kingdom. I'm going to say that again. We're not on the same level. I like that. Okay. But we are all our citizens of the kingdom. So don't get it confused. Just because we are citizens means that we operate the same. Mm, that's good. Apostle Gaines and Apostle Gaines are apostles. They operate on a different frequency. Mm. They operate on a higher level. They operate however God instructs them. Mm -hmm. I operate as a pastor. Just, just use that as a pastor. Okay. So I'm a pastor. They are apostles. Mm -hmm. Different frequencies. Different yeah. elevations. But guess what? We are all citizens of the same kingdom. Yeah, I like that. So we can't get jealous of each other. Awesome. I can't get mad with each other mm -hmm. because guess what? If God, God have called them as that, guess what? That means they had to go through some, their faith are at a level. And watch this. He said, I give every man a measure of faith. So I told you before how you operate your, ooh, how you operate your faith must match. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm going to say that again. How you operate, your faith must match. Hallelujah. Don't try to come high and your faith is low. You're not ready yet. Don't be trying to raise the dead and you don't believe God for a headache. Woohoo! So how you operate, your faith must match. And for your faith to match, you got to go through some stuff to build that faith, to mm. add to that faith. In Jesus' name, Lady Fox. I just want to say this here, hallelujah, you, that, oh my God, that all, all that was so good. And I just want to encourage um, all of us on this morning, all of us, whatever your gift is, don't look out the window at somebody else's gift, how they operating, because it will confuse the gift that God has given you. All I'm saying, don't compare your gift to nobody else. Hallelujah. Amen. The Amen. line is open. Give it back to you, Sister Sarah. 